give it up for Pastor Allen. So, whenever I, you guys, well, not you guys, but these guys, why is it like, there's more people over here than over there. This is like a Sunday thing for us. Is it the same with you guys in church where people kind of like list over to one side? Anyway, uh, I, uh, I always have a, a little bit of hesitancy at, at speaking at an event like this because you always follow something awesome. An awesome time of worship, an awesome song that, that's just lifted up to the Lord and then here comes this guy. He's going to probably put some people to sleep. Hopefully that won't happen. But, but my thing is, is that every time we come together to worship God in song, there's got to be worship of God in His Word, right? So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to worship God in His Word. And we're going to talk about unity. And it's right up there. I mean, when I, it was kind of funny. I was telling my pastor, Pastor Antasio, and during the week, I, I, I had already set this verse that I was going to share with you all. It was out of Ephesians. And I don't know, those of you who teach the Bible and, and preach and all that, for me, it's like a verse sinks into my head and then into my heart. And it, I, God just shows me things about that verse leading up to the time that I share it with the congregation, with, with the body of believers. But for some strange reason, it wasn't happening this time. And... I went back through some notes of some stuff that we went through last summer at, at this church. And we went to this thing called Regeneration, our, our youth and young adults. And Regeneration is this, just this annual gathering where people just come and just love God and they learn more of Him, they draw closer to Him, and you know, hopefully they're changed by that experience. Last year's, uh, last year's thing was collaboration, kind of related to unity, right? So I went back and looked at those notes and I said, is this what you want me to speak on, Lord? And he says, pretty much, yeah. Because it wouldn't leave me. <laughs> and so let's look at what unity is. I mean, a lot of people have a lot of different ideas what unity is, right? This is out of Webster's Dictionary. Okay, first, first definition of unity. Uni, one. The quality or state of not being multiple. One is. Father, Spirit, Son, one God. A condition of harmony, of accord, continuity without deviation or change as in purpose or action. Romans 15, 5, 6, may the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another, in accord with Christ Jesus, that together you may, with one voice, glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus. The quality or state of being made one. Unification. Again, beauty one. A, to a totality of related parts. An entity that is complex or, or systematic whole. Kind of describes the church, yeah? There's a lot of complex personalities in a church. Yet we all come together under one common purpose, and that's to glorify God. So we're going we're gonna, to um, just go through some four points, and hopefully this will stick, and hopefully you guys won't fall asleep. Okay, I got it back up here, so. Okay, remember this, point number one. Unity is how God operates and how he expects us to glorify him as we declare that Jesus is Lord. In John 17, 21 to 24, or I'm sorry, 20, 24, Remember, this is Jesus' prayer, right? The night before he went to the cross and he's with his disciples. And he's praying to the Father and he says, My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message that all of them may be... Everybody? One. Oh, come on. One. <laughs> one. Yeah, okay. There you go. One. Father, just as you are, are in me and I am in you, all together, may they also be in us. So that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one and one as they are one. I am and you and me. May they be brought to complete unity to let the world know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. 
Father, I want those yet hidden beings who be with me where I am and, I, and to see my glory, the glory you have given me because you loved me before the creation of the world. Unity, that, that's basically the character of God, or one of his many characters, right? Jesus said it himself. Father, just as you, and I, you are in me and I am in you, as we are one, is basically what it's saying. That's one of the characteristics of God. Here's what you do with this. Know that Jesus prayed for our unity. Praying to the Father that He and the Father, as He and the Father are one, so we would be one with Jesus. That's the ultimate in unity. That's God's will for us.